Okay, this is the second cable car we had to take to get up to the top of the 007 Schlitzhorn, which you can see it way up at the top there. Got a pretty nice day. Uh, the glass on the gondola is quite scratchy, so you may see some scratches there. But uh, yeah, we're pretty far. <laughs> Long way down. Just keep looking forward here. We're right next to the to the rocks here. And uh, here we go. There's a little hut down there. We make our way. It's early in the morning, so it's still quite chilly. And, uh, yep. yeah, the lake. and then down so that got way. Some snow yeah. at the we're top not doing there. that one. We're not going to do it. No. <laughs> we did hike. Yeah, we did hike back down the bird. He's up there. Yeah, this is we'll where race uh, you. one of Her Majesty's <laughs> Secret <laughs> Service yeah, was filmed up here. I thought there'd be more snow. With uh, yeah. Diana Rake. Kelly Savalas, I think it was George oh, yeah. Lauterman or something who played 007. First car up. Really, first car up. So. When we went up, it was perfect, but on the way down, there were masses of people trying to get on the train. Did you, did you go from Lauterman? We went from Ringelwald, it was really the best cable car. That's the newest cable car. Right? I mean, it'll cost you a bit, but it's worth it. We got the um, Bernays hat oh, with the half day here. It's perfect. So we're getting up a little closer That's now. Only one this is uh, yeah. June something or other. <laughs> I don't want to look at my watch here. Still lots of snow up here. We're going to have breakfast first before we go outside. Okay, we have almost arrived. Here, so we're getting ready for a docking here now. Last few seconds. They're not suspicious of other countries. Yeah, we don't like to say we're from Florida. I understand. Good enough. You have my sympathy. We're almost here. Well, as you can see, we're on the rotating restaurant because this is turning as we go around here. And there's some of the outside, which are going to go out there in a little bit. There's uh, James Bond, whatnot, good view. We're up here very early in the morning, waiting for our breakfast, but we're, we're moving here. We're moving. There you go. Okay, here's the restaurant inside here. And the bar was close to me, but now it's on the other side. So I have to wait till it gets back over here. Okay. 
Well, we're having the brunch here, and of course, everything says James Bond 007. All the plates, the plates, the cups, everything else. And we're still rotating around here. Beautiful view. We're coming into the sun up here. But I'm going to go back get some more waffles and coffee, and we have a little touch of the bubbly for breakfast. Some prosecco here, which will be thoroughly enjoyed here. All right. Well, they have the 007 bar here in the rotating restaurant. You can see 007 all around. And we got, there he is, 007 himself. So I'll be standing next to him here. So there he is. We're, we're talking back and forth here like, how you doing? Did you do a decent job? You think so? Okay, did you get the, get the girl? All right. So there it is, reflections on his face though, so, okay. There's the rest of it here. And uh, come back over here. So we got old James Bond here. Here he is, from On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And we're gonna have a nice view up here. Very nice, nice crisp morning. And let me give you the date and time here. Hold on a second. June 17th, about 8.45 in the morning here. So yeah, we're gonna come around here, take some looks, see what, what we're doing. All right, all right, let's see here. Okie doke, skyline. Better hold on to my hat. No wind, so I don't think I'm going to lose my hat, but I might have to strap it on here. But yeah, beautiful views up here. And here's a chart that'll tell you all the different mountains you can see. I'm looking up there, down to here. I'm going to have to stop for a second here. And actually not, not much snow up here. Pretty pretty dried out. So uh, I don't want to get too close to the edge. I'm on the edge all the time, but there it is. Walking around. A little shadow man there. You can't see too much of shadow man. But uh, more views up here. Yeah, a little wind blowing here, so you might hear a little wind on it, but look at that. And here's tells you all about when you have my shadow in there, but I'll try to get that so you can't see me in there. But sorry, I get the shadow in there. Mont Blanc in there. There it is there. Coming up here. Yeah. Look at all this here. There we go. Look up here at the mountains. Coming around here. Beautiful views. Very nice. Good skies. Uh, a little hazy, but not too much. Coming up here. Look around the other side here a little bit. I'm going to do the catwalk uh, a little bit, but that's down at the other gondola station next one down so uh, not up here just had a great breakfast I could have eaten tons of food but then I'd be like wouldn't be able to, to uh, move so here it is we got uh, all this stuff here these guys here but, uh, yeah I'm gonna walk around the other side and uh, See the sign up here to so see where we are. But the uh, Seatorn. Seatorn. That's where we are here. So uh, before we go down to that view, we'll walk around here, take a little view of this side in the shade here. It's a little, a little more chilly here in the shade. But still magnificent views. Look at that 
down here, down in the valleys. There you go. Yeah, it's beautiful. All those mountains up there. Streams in Switzerland here. Gorgeous day. Nice skies. Still some snow up there. Come around here. Yep. Very nice. All the greenery down there too, even though we're up, uh, I don't know, close to 10,000 feet here, I think. There's still some uh, grassy stuff or something growing there. Looking back over here. Ah, very good. You could sit out here, I'm sure, by the afternoon in the sun. And if you're out of the wind, in just a t-shirt probably, because the sun is more intense up here at this altitude. Getting a lot more sun. So, well, we're getting into some reflections now. Another good uh, chart that's going to tell you what type of mountains you're seeing all over there. The Berner Alpen, the Bernese Alps. And there we go, more of them here. You can always stop the video if you want to take a closer look at that for those people that really are interested. And Still looking down in the valley there. There you go. Look at that. Surrounded by mountains. This is where they filmed the 007 movie. Go see it. It was a good movie. Telly Savalas. Diana Rigg. She was a babe back then, Diana Rigg, in her younger days there. So, but it was, it was good. Good movie. And they're actually playing the movie here up top if you want to just sit up here and watch it. And they have some of the jackets that some of the actors wore. You can buy replicas of it, but I've got so much stuff now. I might buy a couple magnets in the gift shop here. But I don't know what this little tubey is here. Some, some kind of tubey. But uh, that's the Skyline shop. Uh, take a photo of yourself in the Swiss Skyline. A little support for mobile phones to make it easier to take shots with the delayed action shutter release. I don't know how that works. Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is here. So, James Bond. All right, here we go. We're going to do this here. Like, uh, James Bond. So, yeah, what's into the sun? into the sun here. Da 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 da! Da 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 da! James Bond. Do, 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 do. Bond Master Well, I tried to do the James Bond thing, but you're looking right into the sun there, so it was a little tough. Might just get all shadows in there, which is uh, the way the movie was was made there too. So yeah, it looks like another little little walkway now. <coughs> <coughs> little walkway right up here. Discovered a Swiss skyline. Now oh, it's roped off. Can't walk, walk down there. So, uh, a little rocky walk. And there's uh, the gondola coming up. So here we're just walking around the whole outside here. And uh, oh, there's another view up top, which we're going to do that here in a second. Once we see the gondola station, there's the gondola coming in more more peeps coming up here so uh, 
it's going to start to get crowded as more people come in. And I'm still walking around the other side. And uh, yeah, here's the view over here. Okay. Uh, don't feel too bad up here. Because we're only going to be up here an hour or so. Let's see what these steps are here. I'm going to go into the upper level. Uh, oh, that just takes you back into the uh, into the building there. So I think we did pretty good. We did a whole walk around on the outside. And this is supposed to be, if you look for the Eiger, it's supposed to be in there. I think is the Eiger, which you can see it right in there. There you go. There's the Eiger. Let's see. Mount Eiger, at 13,020 feet, this mighty mountain is the northernmost peak of the Swiss skyline. Like a spearhead, it leads the triple peaks of Mount Eiger, Munch, and Jungfrau. And that might be just what its name actually derives from. He means high, and Ger was an old Germanic javelin. Hence, the Heiger essentially means the tall spear. To the north, Mount Eiger drops off nearly vertically. This mighty wall resembles... From here you have the best view of the Swiss skyline with the three famous Mounts Eiger, Mönch and at the far right, the majestic Jungfrau. At a height of 13,642 feet, Mount Jungfrau is the highest peak of the three sum. All three mountains are part before. of the Bernese Alps, a mighty mountain range that separates the Bernese highlands in the north from the Rhone Valley in the south. The name Jungfrau Virgin probably derives from the Wengen Alp, an alpine meadow at the foot of the mountain. This pasture belonged to the nuns of Interlaken Monastery and so their possession was soon called Jungfrauenberg, Virgin's Mountain. The tremendous rock mountain side in front of you extends 10,663 feet from the summit of the Mount Jungfrau down into the Lauterbrunnen Valley. Well, get ready to leave here shortly. Heading down, got some souves. So, uh, all right. There you go. Let's take our last looks up here. Sun coming up a little bit more now, so it's a little bit nicer. Get that beautiful view here. Everything on the outside here. So here we go. Come around here one more time before we uh, meet at the ibex inside. We get a shot of that too. Yeah, the sun a little bit more coming up now here. So there you go. Now, now you get some good views with the sun. All those mountains and here. And one man here, so gotta get get going here. So I'm gonna come back out in the sun here as we walk one last time before we meet at the old Ibex. There's another platform down there. But uh, I think we have a little bit of time. I don't know. So, uh, well, you can't get very far there. So, whatever. But I'm going to come out here into the sun. And there, you can see it in back of me now. So, there it is, all in back of me. There you go. Okay, we're up here. All right, I think we got enough vids? I think so here, so okay. So if you weren't able to see the Ibex out in real life, here's one up close. I got a stuffed one here. Here's Mr. Ibex. Here we go, look at those horns that go up there. And uh, he's got his nose broken. Somebody smashed his nose there. Ah, uh, that's a shame. But uh, there he is. That's what he looks like. He's stuffed inside here. It's on the mountaintop. Yeah. A little bit of the James Bond movie there. Uh-oh. Put the bomb. Put the bombs up there. Going through the ice cave. With the flamethrower. Thank you.
Thank you.